Welcome to today's lesson class. We are going to continue learning weather and patterns. Lewis, please tell me, what did we learn last lesson? We learned about uh, the tools to measure the, uh, to know about the weather. Yeah, to measure the weather. That's it. Nice, Lewis. Good job. Okay, Quang. Can you name me the three instruments we study? Wind vane. Good, that's one. <coughs> Wind vane. Thermometer. Yeah, thermometer. Thermometer. Good, and what's the third um, one, Quang? Um, a rain gauge. A rain gauge. Yeah, rain gauge. Quang Bing, fantastic. I know you weren't here for the whole lesson, but you, you remember that. Well done. All right, class, we are going to quickly, actually first, we're going to go over the rules and then we're going to just do a little share of the homework. So. Homework check. All right, your homework was to finish this. So I'm going to go through each student. Write the weather tool next to the measurement that could that could come from one of the tools listed above. So, Steve, what can I put here? Rain gauge. Rain gauge, good. Noob, what tool can I put? Noob, do you think it's rain gauge, wind vane, or thermometer? Yeah. Thermometer, good job, buddy. Okay, Mia, what can I put here? Fair wind vane. Are you what, here? This one? No, thermometer. Thermometer, good. Jenny, what can I put here? Wind, wind vane. Perfect, well done. And Minha, where are you? I cannot mm. see you. I'm here. Okay, good. What can I put here, Minha? It's a... Rain gauge. Yeah, rain gauge. Copy teacher? Rain gauge. Nice. Very good. And then who can I see there? Is that Cindy? Yeah, Cindy. Where can I what can I put for the last one? Is the last one is wind vane. Wind vane, amazing. Very good. Okay, perfect class. Thank you. Now we're gonna do a spot check. I'm going to ask students at random questions and I want to know the answers. You'll either hear one of two questions. I'll either describe a word and you have to tell me what that word is or I will say the word and you have to describe it to me. So, for example, Susie, what does a thermometer measure? The thermometer measure measure the degree. Let me, let me say that again, Susie. The thermometer measures the degree. The thermometer measures the temperature. Perfect. Well done. Okay. What is the name of a scientist that studies weather? Kiwi, same question. What is the word for a scientist who studies the weather? I think me. Meteorologist. Yeah, good. Meteorologist. Very good. So, Teddy, what is the name of the subject of studying weather? The subject that studies weather is uh, um. Nice, good. Okay, I'm going to do one more question from here. Who am I going to choose? Hacker, what is the name for an object we use to measure weather? Tool. Tool. Okay, what is another word we can use for tool? Thermometer. So that's an example, but we can say instrument or tool. Okay, so good job there, Hacker. All right, one more. Uh, uh, Lewis, what do we measure rain in? What is the measurement for rain? We measure uh, the instrument where we measure rain is language. Yeah, that's the instrument. But what unit of measure do we use? 
millimeters. Millimeters, fantastic, guys! Great understanding, fantastic. We're going to do this a little bit more now in class, but let's move on. All right, as a class, we're going to watch this video. It's funny, but it also has key information. So, to be ready for this video, you need your maths and science notebook. We are going to write simple notes. I will pause the video. When I pause the video, that means I want you to write a note about important information that was in the video. So everyone, get your notebooks and a pencil ready. Okay, class, if you can hear this video, please put your hand up. Hello, Nashville. I'm your local weatherman, Clyde and Quartz. Can we hear this video? Yeah. Yes. Good, good, fantastic. All right. All right, class. I thought it was a little bit of fun with some interesting information. So, all right. I'm just going to pick some students at random to answer some questions for me. So, Jenny, can you tell me what the lowest and the highest temperature was? The lowest temperature was 51, and the lowest temperature was 33. <laughs> Yeah, perfect. Thank you very much. Quang Hai, can you tell me the three dangerous weathers? Uh, the first dangerous weather is snowy, and the second is uh, windy, and the third one is a hurricane. Kind of, yeah. So, snowy is not that day. Well, snowy is like normal weather, but what's the word for really, really dangerous snowy weather? Do you know the word, Quang Hai? Freezing. Nearly. Lewis? Blizzard. 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 That's it. Yeah, so the three weathers we saw were hurricane, tornado, and blizzard. Yes, I can see Teddy and Hannah's written it down there as well. Fantastic. All right, Leo. Leo, my question for you is, what was the color that indicated heavy rain? Red. Leo, yeah, perfect. Leo, can you tell me the color that indicated indicated Heavy snow. Uh, can anyone do heavy snow? Does anyone remember the color? They have the note. Cindy? White. White. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Well, who's saying that? Okay, great. All right, Hi. another one. Uh, Kang, where are you? Me. Here. Uh, Kang, yeah. So, what was the name of the location for the weather report? What was the name of the city or the town? What, what, what is that called? Nearly. So it's pronounced Nashville. Nashville. That's it. Good. Good. Well done. Okay, guys. Fantastic for the video. All right. Good job. That was some good notes. Now we're going to get back into this. We're going to go to our... Okay, class. Now we're going to pretend to be meteorologists. Now, what I would like you all to do is look at these pictures. We have three different days we have day one day two and day three okay now before we do this you'll see here that these measurements are not millimeters they are inches now this textbook a lot of the time uses inches instead of millimeters does anyone know why oh no there we go um emma okay Inches and Fahrenheit are, are very old, very old ways to measure things. Most of the world, including England, where I'm from, and Vietnam, where you're from, do not use inches anymore. We use millimeters and degrees Celsius. OK, but this book we use is American. So we are going to see inches sometimes. OK. It's just a different unit of measure. So in this exercise, so what we're going to do, class, is we are, no. we are going to act That's as meteorologists and explain the weather based on the picture. Now, we're actually going to do this in the group chat. I want, I'm going to show you an example with day one, okay? Now, I want you guys to choose either day two or day three, and you're going to explain to me what the weather is like. 
I'm going to get you an example now. You're going to tell me what the weather condition is, how much rainfall there is, the direction the wind is coming from, and the temperature. So here's my example. Look at the chat, everyone. So my example is day one. The weather is sunny. There has been no rainfall. The wind is coming from the west, and the temperature is 32 degrees Celsius. I would like every student to write the same thing for day two or day three, explaining the weather. Okay. Chat box. Yeah, and I'd like you to write it in the group chat so I can read it and check it. And then at the end, I'll ask some students to read it. So you can either do day two or day three. I have already done day one, so we do not do day one. Hannah, put it all together in one paragraph like I have done. I want all the information in one message. Take your time. Read the pictures. Understand them. And remember for a wind vane, a wind vane points to where the wind is coming from. So class, we should all now be writing in the group chat the weather for day two or day three. Ready? That's very good. So day two is cloudy. There is 20 millimeters of rain and the degrees is about 28. That's nice. But Teddy, you've not told me about wind direction. Lewis, let's have a look. Day two, the weather is rainy. There has been 20 mil of rainfall. The wind is coming from the west and the temperature is 28 degrees. Sorry, that was Hannah. Hannah, fantastic. In day Lewis, in day two, the weather is rainy. It rains two inches. The wind came from the west and the temperature is 27 degrees Celsius. I think that's great as well. Thank you very much. Hacker, that's not an answer. That's just a load of thumbs up. Okay. Thanks, Teddy. Yeah, you are right. Pointing west, so it means the wind is coming from the west. Day two, the weather is sunny. The wind go to the west. So, Quang Hai, the wind comes from the west. Wherever the wind vane's pointing to, that's where the wind's coming from. One inch of rain, the temperature is 30 degrees. The rest of it is very good. Okay, Jenny. Day three, the weather is windy. The rain is one inch and the wind is coming from the north. Fantastic. Jenny, please, what's the temperature? You've missed that one out. Did you, get, did you get my answer? Yeah, uh, Buli Kang, I'm just yeah. reading it now. So day two, the weather is cloudy. There's been two inches of rainfall. The wind is coming from the west and the temperature is around 30 degrees Celsius. Yeah, Buli Kang, that's fantastic. Good job. And then Jenny, the temperature is 36 degrees. Nice. Okay, class, I should have more students' answers coming through. Not had enough here. I am doing. I am good, good. As long as you're doing and no one's being lazy, then we're good. Fantastic, Lewis. Well done. Okay, I need some more. <laughs> okay, nice hacker, but give me more information. Yes, it's cloudy, but what about rainfall? What about the wind vane? What about the temperature? Okay, Leo, day two, the weather is windy. There's two inches of rainfall. The wind comes from the west, and it's 30 degrees Celsius. So just missed some words there, Leo, but your idea is perfect. Great job. Kiwi, day two, the weather is rainy. The wind is coming from the west and the temperature is 28 degrees Celsius. The rain fall, just remember to use the word fall, is two inches. Fantastic idea. Well done. Okay, Zalin, day two, the weather is rainy. Uh, is a lot of rainfall. The wind is coming from the west and the temperature is 29 degrees. So I think that's perfect. Okay. You just missed out a word. That's all. So instead of there have a lot, it's there is a lot. The wind is coming from the north and the temperature is about 25 degrees Celsius. Well done, Zabing. 
Okay, class. Who's not sent me one yet? Who's not sent me one? I think it's Steve. Mia, have you sent me one? Sorry, have you sent me one? Look at day two in the picture. Okay, can you tell me what the weather's like in day two? Okay, Mia. Mia, can you tell me what the weather's like on day two, please? Unmute your microphone. The weather is like rainy. It's like rainy. The amount of rainfall is two inches. Good. The wind direction is from the west and the temperature is 81 degrees. Hey, perfect. Yeah, so you just looked at Fahrenheit. Can you tell me the degrees in Celsius? 30 degrees Celsius. Yeah, around 30 degrees Celsius, okay? Very good. Hi. Okay, perfect, class. Who else didn't actually do it? So, Chi, can you tell me the weather on day three? The weather on day three is... It is raining. Yeah, a little bit rainy. That's a clap. Okay, so tell me the rest. What's the rain gauge like? What's the wind vane like? What's the temperature? The rain gauge has one inches of water. Nice. And then the wind vane? And the wind vane is pointing to the north. Very good. So does that mean the wind is coming from the north or going to the north, Chi? Going to the north. It's coming from the north. Okay, try and remember that. Okay, and the last one, Noob, can you tell me the temperature for day three? 27 degrees Celsius. Let's see it. Nice. Um, right, class, that actually brings us... Very close to the end of the lesson. So let's touch on your homework. Your homework should be quite easy now. We have already looked at the pictures to describe the weather, the weather condition, the rainfall, the wind vane, and, and the temperature. Okay. So for your homework, all I want you to do is finish this table. What I want you to do is scribble this out and then put degrees Celsius. I want you to record the Celsius, not the Fahrenheit. Okay. And then once you've done this table, you will then answer these questions because all these questions are about this table. Okay. So that is page 408 and 409 in your textbook. All right. That brings us to the end of lesson. Lesson. Before we end the lesson, does anyone have a question? No. Put your hand up if you oh, no. Okay, guys. Fantastic lesson. Well behaved. Good understanding of lesson material. Thank you very much. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Goodbye.